before we start anything let me just get this out of the way so you guys can just have a clear view because i believe this is not needed i mean it's not unboxing by any means it's already used so i don't think yes much better now so yes guys welcome back to the channel as you already know it's direct every once again and today getting straight to the point i got my hands on the ronin rsc2 this is a game board that has been around for quite some time now but it's quite unfortunate that i don't normally get my hands on the item once they arrived i mean um it's not being sponsored by any means normally when i review or get my hands on this it simply means that um i bought it with my own money my personal pocket money so nobody sponsored this and the reason why i bought this is because i was actually shooting a music video for one of my buddies uh, richard his requirement was a bit a bit off limits i mean at the moment i've, I've been selling a lot of my gear so uh, I don't have any Game Boy. I, I didn't have any Game Boy at the time that he reached out. I wasn't having any drone as well. So he was requesting for a drone, a Game Boy, and I mean a whole lot of high end. You guys do know. So all the way into the box, I mean the box is what I just dropped, but this is the carrying bag. And honestly, when you buy this Game Boy, you don't normally get this carrying bag. You only get this carrying bag when you purchase the Pro Combo version. So this happens to be the Pro Combo. And what that simply means is that um, you do get some more accessories when it comes to um, rigging it up and then getting some more features. So the first interesting thing that has been added to the Pro Combo version is this Reveni um, device. So what this simply means is you will be able to attach this to your Game Boy all the way to the camera and this will be able to provide a feed all the way from the camera to an external monitor or to your phone so it becomes wirelessly i mean i don't know if you guys do get me so this remains here and then it provides a feed a signal to a phone or a monitor and it's very handy especially for pro level high end i mean cinematographers videographers filmmakers because you'll be able to monitor the footages that the camera i mean the gimbal operator is using the gimbal operator is actually shooting so it becomes very handy and this like i mentioned it does not come on the regular kit this normally comes with the pro combos so that is the first thing that you get when you purchase the pro combo version and then you also get a focus ring here so this one actually goes to the lens i don't have any lens on the table right now it goes straight to the lens and then this moto will be attached to this so this will actually help you to pull a focus um on this side so here i don't know if you guys can see it here so that is the interesting part about this um, Pro Combo versions. I mean, it comes with a lot of unique accessories that most do not get when they purchase the regular um, kit. There's still more. Uh, there's still more. I mean, that's why they normally call it the Pro Combo, simply because there's a lot of Pro accessories added to this compared to your regular one. So you also get some extra tripod mount, which becomes it becomes two. And then this one is the cell phone holder. So it goes attached to the um, the gimbal and then you'll be able to place your phone in there and monitor it whilst you are using the gimbal i mean i'm not doing any form of unboxing because there's a whole bunch of videos on online that are actually doing this unboxing thing from scratch so i think we should just get this out of the way so now coming to the gimbal itself this gimbal like i mentioned i've had it for some few moments now and um i'm going to list the main reason why i'm actually making this review at the end of the day when i got it it was low so i had to charge it because the shoot was actually the same day when i purchased the same gimbal so i actually plugged in i didn't actually know that you could actually charge this with a power bank so i connected a power bank i connected the usb type c and then i think by the time i moved from johannesburg to pretoria i think i had about 60 something percent if i'm not mistaken so it's quite it's quite charges charges fast even when you use the power bank uh, but i would advise you to keep on using the power bank because it might cause some issues with the battery from the first impression uh, you can see that this gimbal really got some great build quality compared to the previous gimbals that i've owned i mean from the past i've had a couple of gimbals i've had the fiutech ak45000 rebo lab i've owned the crane 2 i've owned a couple of them so getting my hands on this i can really tell that uh ronan dji really put some great effort into building this unit another advantage that i can point on is the usb type c okay 
you guys do know that these days USB type C is uh, the current port that people are really getting into I mean everywhere you go it's USB type C most of the phones are type C I got a lot of them just hanging here so it's been type C it's quite awesome um, you just plug in and then you're ready to move the plate the base plate or the mount plate whatever you call it this thing right here it's it's this thing here from the previous gimbals that I've had in order for you to mount your camera you need to take this plate off from the gimbal okay and this thing when you take it out I mean your camera is not really gonna be here 24 7 it's not gonna be here throughout an entire shoot so I fucking hate this man huh I think the best thing to do is anytime I'm about to shoot the video I put my phone off or put it on a flight mode yes talking about the plate the base plate um, like I was saying in order for you to mount your camera you need to put a plate on I mean this plate right here and your camera is not always going to be on the gimbal throughout an entire shot obviously at some point you need to take it off from the gimbal some point you need to also put it on the gimbal With the previous one that I had it was a bit of a hassle because when you take the camera out of the gimbal you need to rebalance it again in order to get a perfect setup on the gimbal once you, you put it back on but here there is some cool features about this gimbal okay what it simply does is there is two plates on it besides this one there is also another small one which is in the box um it goes on top of this thing and what that does to the gimbal is that when you want to take your camera off from this i mean gimbal here you don't need to take the entire base plate of the trap i mean of, of the gimbal so the only thing that you will be taking along with your camera will have to be the small one that goes here so in that case you don't need to rebalance it anytime you take your camera off from this particular gimbal that's that's a cool feature that uh, most of the gimbals that I had never got I mean it, I, I, it, it was never there another thing that I'm going to pinpoint is the battery life okay for the entire music video that I use this gimbal for I think when I start charged it on sets because everything was done in a day okay I bought it in, on in the morning the music video started in the morning so I had to quickly charge it have a quick charge with, with, with the gimbal so um with the experience of the battery i think it's really pushed it really did a good job because like i mentioned the battery was up to 60 but the time i finished shooting i think everything was still around 30 if i'm not mistaken so i think the battery can really hold up to i mean what dji really advertised okay so if you look at this gimbal here if you look through the gimbal i mean this side i'm not sure if you guys can see it there we go there are tens of ports on this thing okay there's a whole lot of ports there's ports that can allow you to connect from the gimbal to your camera for you to control the focus ring for you to control your iso and all that there's a whole bunch of i mean information and technology packed on this thing another awesome feature that i really love about this is the locking mechanism okay with the previous one that i had uh, let's just take uh, the dg i mean sorry the Weibo lab for example i think it's the Weibo lab or the Weibo s something like that just correct me if i'm wrong um the buttons on that one it's it's got a locking mechanism on it but the problem is anytime you press it or anytime you lock it somehow somewhere you won't know how it's going to happen but you see that the game mode locks itself after a while i'm not sure why it does that i'm not sure if it was only my unit but that locking mechanism never felt like it was really secure because even if you put it on lock anything happens something just a little thing it just goes back to <laughs> i don't know what was happening there but i think they really um got to put some rebuilding issue or i don't know I, but it's got nothing to do with the firmware i think it was how it, it is how it was built so with this it's really steady when you lock or unlock this thing it unlocks when you lock it it really does lock okay no regardless of how much force or whatever you do to it it's never gonna unlock unless you break it the underslang option okay so with the previous gimbal that i owned you um i mean i think the the Weibo lab or s got some nice um, i mean it goes under slang easily but you just you just need to just drop it and then everything tilts down 
But here, in order for you to go on that slang board, I know it's a bit of a process, but the process, trust me, if you do it, you will enjoy it. So here, to go on that slang mode, you unscrew this knob here. There is a small knob here, you just unscrew it. Then you turn it down like this. So you go under slang mode. I think it's like that. Okay. So the camera will be under like this and then you shoot from this angle. So that is how you go under slang mode. But I got some questions, okay, because everything here is is it's it doesn't sound it doesn't seem right to me, man, because hey this thing is quite a lot of money and for me to be breaking this thing every now and then that i need to go under slang mode or even packing it in my bag you still need to fold this thing like this and then turn this off then this is how you pack it i don't really enjoy breaking this thing into two in order to pack it or go under slang mode that is one fan fact and i think this will have to get into my disadvantages factor okay it's a nice game all right but i do not like the fact that i need to break this or do that whole funny thing in order to go under slang mode i mean it feels like i'm i'm, I'm breaking the game ball and that is not something i would like to see i mean if you're paying a whole lot of money for an item you're not gonna enjoy this process so i really don't like the fact that i need to um break this whole thing to go under slang mode okay so the next thing that i'll have to point on which happens to be the biggest downside of all will have to be the battery life and that alone is going to make me sell this gimbal to get something else okay i understand dji is trying to make things easy it's trying to make things i mean way good and dji also listen to the uh, consumers but i do not i think i'm one of the few people that dislike this option okay this gimbal got a built-in batteries okay the ronin s the ronin sc most of the ronin dgi gimbals they do i mean open the gimbal i mean they do open the battery so most of them the battery do come out like this you take this out and then you take the battery grip out but here the battery is built into the gimbal okay this was supposed to be the battery here this is supposed to be the battery it's supposed to be detachable but unfortunately dji did not make that option on this gimbal so what happens here is the battery is built in that is nice the battery does last i think it goes all the way 12 hours to 14 hours if i'm not mistaken i think it's 12 hours assuming i own this gimbal for quite some time now three years four years down the line five years whatsoever and then the battery gets tired or the battery dies which means that's the end of the gimbal i need to throw it away it's rubbish now that is something that i really dislike i mean i'm not going to spend a whole lot of rings on this item that's the battery is not removable no i'm not doing that then what happens tomorrow the battery does not last and i need to replace it i'm unable to replace it uh, that's that's something that it's actually a pain in the butt so i think with that option i will be selling this gimbal to get something else it does not matter which gimbal but i'm actually looking at the musa a2 because it's got those cylinder batteries and you can take them out and when they get damaged you can order another one for i think 60 bucks give me a gimbal that i should be able to take off the battery that is the perfect way to go okay i like the fact that the axis are locking it hold a good payload it's got some time scrolls and i mean some uh double plate mounts and all. i like the features this the screen it's it's awesome it feels good the build quality everything but for the fact that the battery is built into this gimbal and in future when it gets damaged i don't even know when it's gonna be damaged i won't be able to replace this uh i don't think this is for me okay uh, anytime i have this gimbal or anytime i'm shooting it just comes to my attention okay what if i'm shooting and the battery dies then i mean what if the battery gets damaged by any means which means that's the end of the game but that's not something i mean that's not what i'm looking for so um as times goes on i've already posted it i'm just waiting until it sells uh once it sells there'll be another review also coming up i'm not sure which gimbal i'll be going for but i'm still deciding between the ronin sc the original one or the moza a2 
here's why someone will be asking why are you downgrading i know it's a downgrade from this one but i like the fact that the battery is removable okay don't get me wrong don't be upset with me don't i mean i understand it's a great gimbal but that option is really not for me. another disadvantage that i've used in finalizing this video i think that will have to be um, the ease of use the usabilities okay i'm not gonna lie taking this gimbal straight out of the box uh i mean if someone is watching this you'll probably ask okay how easy is it to use straight out of the box uh i'm i'm not sure maybe it was because of the settings but when i got this the gimbal right on set the first time i really struggled okay um i i even did the auto calibration thing i i set it up for it to, and i got lightweight setup i'm using the eos r which is a mirrorless so it shouldn't be able to be a problem but when i placed my camera on it it was doing its own thing when i pen this side it's maybe i don't know how to use gimbal but from the previous ones that i've been using especially the ak forty five thousand, it didn't do that so i'm not sure why this does that here you need to put some few settings up to and if you don't balance your gimbal properly it also tends to act up a little bit so yeah i think that's something that one should always put into consideration if you're looking up to buying this gimbal just know that it's not a gimbal that you're going to take it straight out of the box and then you're ready to roll you're going to be able to you i mean you need to put down some few twists here and there some settings up, up to i mean everything needs to be in order before you think of enjoying the gimbal itself so yeah overall so far so good I think it's now time I release it to the new owner, whoever that will be interested. Uh, the person will be getting the gimbal itself, the box here, the tripod mount, a whole bunch of accessories in the in the the, the bag. There is also a Revenai because this is the Pro Combo. So whoever buys it, uh, yeah. And if you are curious in knowing the price or if you have any interest in purchasing, link me up in the DMs on Facebook, Instagram, emails, whichever and um, i'll be keen to provide you with the, the the cost of so overall i believe i've listed a whole bunch of advantages and disadvantages about this gimbal and apologies for my sound quality or background noise and my standing ups and coming back and all that i'm very sorry i'm living in a neighborhood where there are just a whole bunch of dogs and i mean children and cars and all that so i'm very sorry I believe maybe as time goes on i'll try to place in some sound panels and all that but for now this is where we are thank you very much for coming here please do not forget do not please do not what is happening today <laughs> please do not forget to hit on the subscribe button it really um helps a lot i will now really appreciate it thank you very much once again and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace